Hey y'all, it's your girl Bree Michelle. I am actually doing a video for you guys. I'm doing a Q&A about 11 questions that I've been getting asked just in general about surgery, my life, business, just different things. And it's just another way for you guys to kind of get to know me a little bit better. I'm at my house in my apartment. You can see I'm watching Law, Law & Order. So I'm gonna be making these videos in between the um the show. This is my favorite show on Sundays, Law and Order, especially from Jimmy. Get my hair cut shorter. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, Q and A. First question somebody asked me was, "Can plus size girls get the services from my spa?" If you don't know and you're just now watching my video for the first time, I have a spa. It's called New Touch Beauty Spa, um, and the website will be at the bottom of this of this video. Um, it doesn't matter what size you are. You could be big, skinny, small, thick, surgery, no surgery. Anybody can get the service at my spot. So if you're plus size, come on in. I deal with all shapes and sizes, women and men. Um, next question. Who would I recommend in the U.S. for plastic surgery if the person does not want to go out the country? Um, I don't really have any favorites in the U.S., um, because I don't like the fact that in the U.S. they don't they can't take as much fat from your body. So I do recommend Colombia because they can take all your fat out your body. And you don't want to waste your time getting surgery and then you're still fat. But when I was looking around for surgeons in the U.S., I was going to go to Dalback in Miami. Okay, so I was going to go to Dalback in Miami. He is transgender um, and he has really, really good work. His prices were really decent as well. Um, but I did not go to him. I chose to go to Columbia, of course, to Ortega because he was cheaper and um, the, his his work was better to me. Um, so if you are scared about going out the country, do more research because um, I do feel like you'll get a better benefit if you go out the country. Um, somebody asked me, was my plane ride back from Columbia packed? Um, my flight was so early in the morning that the plane ride wasn't packed. I flew Spirit Airlines um, from Atlanta to Florida to Florida to Columbia. And the reason why I flew Spirit because that was the only direct flight they had that was the cheapest. And I didn't want to pay a lot. And I didn't want a long layover. So I ended up paying $300 round trip just for my plane ticket, which is was a good price. Um, I bought the two big seats in the front, like the one seat, and like the big front seat. Spirit doesn't really have first class. They have the big front seat. I bought that and then going there, I didn't buy it, but coming back, I did. And honestly, I don't feel like I needed it because throughout the flight, I just kept getting up, walking around. Um, but it was a window sleep if I wanted to go to sleep, but I, I couldn't sleep. I was so nervous. So to answer your question, do I recommend getting a first class seat coming back? No, but I definitely recommend wheelchair access. So you don't have to walk because it's a lot of walking. Okay. Somebody just asked me recently, how long for the pain to wear off? Um, I wasn't in pain. I was uncomfortable. The itchiness, the swelling, the can't get comfortable trying to lay down, trying to sit up. Um, that was my main issue. Um, I say about two months maybe for the uncomfortableness to get to go away. Um, my sides were very tender for a while. But the pain wasn't unbearable where I couldn't work. Like I went back to work two weeks later. I was driving two weeks later, so. How did I deal with not getting fibrosis? Um, I wore my stage two Faja for three months. And when it started getting bigger, I put foam boards, foam pads in it. I wore it all the time underneath my clothes. I got 30 massages, and I mean 30, and a lot of women Y'all are getting in surgery, but you're not getting the massages. And I know because my clients come to me, they don't wear their fire, they don't wear their um, their fire, and they don't get their massages. This is why you guys have fibrosis. So I would really recommend not being cheap when it comes to this surgery experience. And no, yes, when you pay for your surgery after, you're going to still be spending another $2,000, period. And if you're not ready to do that, then I would not recommend getting the, the, the surgery. I do offer massages at my spa. So if you guys want, I can help you get together. And I offer the stage two fives as well. Okay, next question. When did you sit on your butt? Um, 
I sat on my butt the same day. My doctor allowed us to sit on our butt the same day. And my doctor was Fernando Ortega in Colombia. Um, he did give us the butt pillow. I sat on it for a couple of days and I stopped sitting on it. And I just sat on my butt with the faja on. And I didn't, I, you know, the reason why they don't want you to sit on your butt is because you're going to lose fat. But regardless, you're going to lose fat in your butt anyways. So I'm meeting girls that don't sit down for two months. It's not going to make a difference. My, my butt is still big as hell, as you all can see. And I sat on my butt the next day. But you can do as you please. And of course, you want to listen to your doctors. So. And the faja does not make your butt go smaller. So if you feel like the patent in the faja makes it smaller, it's actually protecting it. So. Okay, what was the next question? Sex after surgery. Um, For me, I feel like I have more of a... Well, I've always said I have sex drive. But for me, it's like... I feel more sexier, you know what I mean? Because I feel like my body's perfect, you know, and nothing in life is really perfect, but I know my significant other is extremely attracted to me. He was attracted to me before, but I feel like it just makes him more attractive because he loves big booties. So um, I do feel like, you know, when you first get it done, it is hard to do anything because you're uncomfortable, as I said earlier, but if you can get over the uncomfortableness, you're good. But, um, you know, the confidence that you have in your your female body as men have in their genital area um, is, is, is crazy. So that's definitely a good thing for me after surgery. My, my drive went up even more. Um, does my significant other like my before and my after body? He loves my before body. He loves my after um, you know, I, I asked him, I was like, did you, do you like me more because I got my body done? You know, just being insecure, like some of us can be sometimes. His response was, no, I like you before and after. I'll take you either way. It doesn't matter. Your butt is just bigger. He actually thinks it's too big. So, am I single? <sighs> Everybody has somebody. Let me say that. So, that should answer everybody's question. Everybody has somebody. Am I happy with the somebody I have? Absolutely. Okay. Next question. Round two. Absolutely. <laughs> Only because I want another child. I have a four-year-old and... I have to have the other child or one other child. I have, to have, to have to have my extra child. So I have two instead of one. Then I, I would want to get a little tighten up. Um, people are going to be mad at me, but oh well. Um, but would I get it before I have my other child? No. If I never get pregnant again, then I wouldn't have another round. I wouldn't need it. Um, I actually feel like sometimes when you get your round two, that's your best results, as they say. Um, but I'm an imp imperfectionist. So now... I'm a perfectionist, sorry. So now when I'm looking at my body, I'm like, oh, I can get them to cut this out and do this and do that. And I heard a lot of girls do that, but I would definitely do a round two. Now, who would I go to? Maybe back to Ortega. There, There's two other doctors I like. Dre Jacome, they're in Columbia. D-R-A-J-A-C-O-M-E. Um, their work looks really good. Um, and then Carlos Gomez. I think Dream Doll went to him. I like his work too. So those would be my three people I would go to for my round two if I went back. So. Okay. My last question. Self-confidence after surgery. Um, I don't feel like surgery builds your self-confidence. I do feel like when you fit in your clothes... It fits a little bit better because it's more shaped out. You don't have that pudge anymore. Um, but I do feel like if you already have low self-esteem and insecurities, surgery is not going to build that. That's an inner issue. Um, and that's something you have to work on as a person. Um, you just getting surgery is not going to make you feel like you're the baddest bitch walking. You know, you got to breathe that. You can't just get the look is not enough. That's an inner feeling. Um, 
even with surgery, I still suffer from insecurity sometimes like any anybody. But I, I don't feel like that is gonna be how you keep, how do I say this? How do you keep um, from being insecure? So definitely, but um, I plan on making way more YouTube videos. I just need you guys to give me some content. <laughs> so this is my first q and I'm gonna try on a few clothes in the next slots and then that's it. But um, if you have any questions for me, write them underneath the videos. I'm no longer answering questions in my Instagram because I got flooded with a million questions that are already in my videos. If you guys would listen to the videos fully, you'd have all the answers. Um, so please don't DM me on Instagram, ask me questions. You can follow me, you can subscribe here and write comments. I'll respond to that. But I'm no longer answering questions on Instagram anymore. So if you don't get a response, that is why. So stay tuned, subscribe, comment, like, send it to people, share it, do whatever. And thank you guys for supporting me. And I hope if you're having a surgery journey, some of these questions answered were answered for you. And if you already had surgery and you're feeling a little confused, hopefully some of these questions I answered were good for you and beneficial. Okay. Okay, so I haven't been shopping because the holidays are coming up. I'm saving my money. But I bought two pieces from Fashion Nova. I'm gonna show you guys how they fit me because people want to see how clothes fit me for some reason. Um, so right now I have on these blue jeans from Fashion Nova. They're called the classic high waist skinny jeans. Um, they're like the other ones I showed in one of my previous videos. Um, my size is a 13. They were for $20. And these how they fit. And I actually like the way these fit. So, so you guys can see. Now this, again, they could be tighter, I'm sure, but because of this, I wouldn't get them smaller. Because the next size down on Fashion Nova is 11, and that's gotta be too small. So this is a size 13, okay. Okay, y'all, so I got this one from Fashion Nova as well. This is the Soul Searching Metallic Midi Dress. I love midi dress because they come all the way past my knee. Um, it's a size medium. I probably could have wore a small, but I got a medium. Um, it was $17.49. Um, I had a 25% discount code to go with it. Um, where am I going to wear this? I'm going to Mexico with my, my, everybody has somebody. <laughs> and I'll probably wear this out there with him because it's too cold in Atlanta. But only thing is when you get your body done, some of the stuff don't fit right, so it could be a little tight. I may get it took in, but it's a, it's a really pretty dress. I love this. But see, this could be tighter as well. And I want it to be like this. So I'm definitely gonna have to adjust it, but it's cute. It's a cute date night dress. But looks good in it, so.